Who's your favourite presenter? I mean by that, who did you or do you always love to watch on TV um, and, and maybe when you were growing up? Is it somebody like James Corden or for us Brits, Terry Wogan or Bruce Forsyth? Or if you're in America, is it Larry King or Oprah? Did you love David Attenborough, Barbara Walters? So it's an eclectic group. I know, but I'm trying to talk to both sides of the Atlantic here. Now, I love people like Graham Norton and Ruby Wax because they're cheeky and they make me laugh. But then someone like Louis Theroux also appeals because his humour is so dry. Most of what these presenters have in common is that they are friendly, they are charming, they are amusing, warm, authentic. They're unusual and potentially thought-provoking. So... Whatever it is that attracts you to people, is it that they're cheeky or they're naughty or they're trustworthy? It's generally that they're human though, isn't it? Um, and that's something that we, when we are presenting or talking or speaking at an event or in a meeting, we actually want to be attracting people to us who want to work with us, to hire from us, to um, buy from us. And so when I'm um, working with my clients, I would always or often ask them to picture your favorite presenter when you're planning a presentation. And it's not because I want you to be copying them or trying to be them, but it's because I want you to be thinking of the key attributes that they bring that appeals to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. As those are the elements that I'd want you to bring to your presentations, to your speeches. So if you generally enjoy a presentation with obvious humour or one with wisdom and dry wit or maybe one showing empathy, then those will actually be the traits that you show best and you will feel more natural doing. And if you can imagine them doing it, it helps you see yourself doing it and it just helps your presenting just that little bit more.